All right, DC, here is Kamaru Usman back on the proven ground here tonight, and even dating to the Ultimate Fighter back in 2015. You got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special. He was able to cap it with the UFC Championship. He's back on the horse here tonight. He has this undying belief in himself. He believes that through hard work, all the results will show, and they have for Kamaru Usman. From the pace and pressure that he put on Dos Anjos to the pace and pressure he put on Woodley, he shows now, and in those fights, why he's one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly, he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Hooft, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Kamar Usman, as he put it way back in the day, is a real problem. ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. Well, there's always a special feeling when Hamzat Shumaya makes the walk, whether at welterweight or at middleweight. This man has proven to be a real problem and really has lived up to all the hype and then some dating to his 2020 UFC debut. It's so hard for you to meet expectation, much less exceed it. Right. Hamzat Shumayev has exceeded the expectations set for him when he made his UFC debut. He has been nothing short of a buzzsaw, just going through guys at a rate that not anyone could have expected. What a fantastic fighter we get to watch every time we see Hamzat in the octagon. And of course, many people hearken back to the Gilbert Burns fight in 2022, the consensus fight of that year in which Chimaev was challenged and still rose to the occasion. We'll see how he fares tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight Champion of the world, Hamzat Bosh Jumayev! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, here we go with the start of the round, and all eyeballs are fixed upon Hamzat Jumayev. More often than not, it's a short night at the office. How will he choose to proceed tonight? Will he go to the hands, or will he go to the takedown? Remains to be seen. Clearly, he believes he has a favorable matchup in front of him tonight. Hammer fist here by Chimaev. Making all these shots count. Chimaev's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, setting up for a submission now. Oh, that Von Flu choke is tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long 
to allow for himself to get subs. Lands with the ground and pound. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Kamaru Rusman. Big right hook there by the champ. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Come on. Just missed with the left there. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to... Oh, my God. Oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. Round two straight ahead. All right, take a seat, bud. Deep breath. Man. Breathe in through that nose, out through that mouth. All right, here's some water. Listen, your kicks are working. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do round it. two underway. All right, so here we go with the next round. Shades of your teammate Khabib Nurmagomedov in round one. That's some serious round control. Oh, absolutely. And the ground and pound starts with just yeah. tremendous control. And if you watch Khabib, just as we're watching this young man right now, they're always in control of the opponent's movement. So when the opponent goes left, they don't try to fight him and pull him back right. They just follow the hips. It's almost like they rise and wait. It's insane to watch a guy that has so much confidence in the top position, just knowing that wherever you go, I've got a trap set to secure you when you get there. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Usman. Now inside the club. He's attacking guillotine. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. How in the world did he escape that submission? You need to work on this position. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some temp submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Darce. That Darce is tight. Oh, 
Marshall. Knee on belly. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Lands with the ground and pound here. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistent. All right, round three coming up next. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, forget about that round. That round's gone. You need to make it up big time. Got to rely on your wrestling, okay? You're just not setting anything up. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round is underway after he came very close to submitting his opponent in that previous round. Oh, oh hip toss to get him down. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Good work from the top here by Kamaru Rusev. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Usman's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Usman going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side, underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Well, he is grounding, he is pounding, and now he's working the body to great effect. Nice job by Usman. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Beautiful ground strikes land. Well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Hamza Chimaya. can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. <laughs> 30 seconds to go now. <laughs> Great ground and pound by this man. <laughs> Final seconds of round three. Another ground and pound oh, strike gets oh. home. All right, three oh. rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, take a deep breath. Relax. It's okay. Let's get our elbows a little bit tighter this time. Throw your combinations hard and fast and get those arms. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. 
If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, deep, lean on the hearts. We'll see who has the attack. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. He's got that single collar tie. Straight right, he misses. Usman goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attack. There to no avail. Bushman's got a lot of weapons on both sides as he switches his stance here. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike lands. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Under two minutes to go. Oh, big shots from the top. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Usman. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Lands the ground and pound strike. Usman's got his back yet again. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. 15 seconds. Horn oh, oh, sounds oh. for the end of round four. Oh, stop, stop, stop. It's close. It's a close one, man. I need you to go out there and give me everything you got. Keep putting the pressure on. Put that pace on him. He can't keep that pace. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Fifth ahead. and final round. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern-day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this enemy. No, and he does it in the old... A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, he was setting up the hooks early in offense tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. Down defense holds up. Great take down defense. Take down defense. Holy smokes. Oh, nice judo toss for him there. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. 
All right, well, he's got him softened up here. He cut him. He cut him. So many ground strikes landed that eventually he got him cut. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Chimaya. Changing the position. All right, side control now. Chimaev's back in side control. Oh, right into Mount. He's got to start throwing now. Usman's in half guard. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. In the half guard. 45 seconds remain in the round. Good, solid strike on the ground. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he was going to block oh, him. How good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC Walter Wright champion of the world, Hobbs and All right, so the Chechen Swede, Hamzat Chimaev, your winner by decision. You heard it there from Bruce Buffer. More often than not, he doesn't need to hear those judges' scorecards, but a clean effort nonetheless from Chimaev tonight. Yeah, but in these decisions, we get to see him longer. We get to see the improvements and the advancements, and it starts to make you wonder who has...